everybody, it's Mrs. Williams, and today we're going to learn how to brainstorm and research the second and third step of the engineering design process. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to know is that brainstorming comes before your research. And this is very important because once you go online and you begin to do your research and your Google searches, all of those original ideas that you could have had in your brainstorming seem to go out the door because all you can see are the things that you see online. So let's take a moment to talk about brainstorming. Brainstorming is actually a very fun part of the engineering design process because at this point, all ideas are good ideas. We don't hold any judgment towards the ideas. We're not looking to see if they're feasible or if they're gonna work out in the end. All we're looking for is to get those ideas from our head onto a piece of paper. You can do this by drawing, you can do this by writing text and bullet point notes. It doesn't really matter. Just anything that you have in your brain, we put it on paper. Sometimes we call it a brain dump. Now, you can brainstorm collaboratively as a group or a team or independently. But in TUSD Robotics, I'm going to suggest that everybody first brainstorms independently so that you can really use some time in your alone zone to think and get your ideas on paper and then we will share our brainstorm ideas together. At this point in the video, if you have yet to individually brainstorm, I suggest you hit pause and take time in your alone zone to go ahead and get your brainstorm and your ideas on paper. If you're ready to move on, that means that it's time to share your brainstorm ideas. So at this point, what we do is we come together with our team and we take turns one at a time sharing our brainstorms. Make sure you do this so that all voices are heard. We don't want to leave anybody out. And remember, all ideas are good ideas. So this brings us to the rules of brainstorming. Once we start sharing our ideas to one another, the very most important rule, rule number one, no criticism is allowed. Now it's natural for us to have judgment about ideas and what we see about different robot builds, but you need to contain that judgment and remember that all ideas are good ideas during this phase. Rule number two, work for quantity. This means the more ideas you have, the better. Because the more ideas you have, the more likely some of those ideas are quality ideas. Also, sometimes people need to really experience a brain drain before those creative and innovative solutions come out. Because very likely, your first ideas are the most common ideas that everybody has. But if you keep working at it and you make your list longer and longer, you will then find that some of those ideas that you end up with at the end were the most creative and innovative. Rule number three, welcome piling on. This means that one person's idea might inspire a similar idea by another student. Now, in order to do this in a respectful way, make sure that the first person who is sharing their ideas is all the way done before other team members are asked to pile on. Any ideas that maybe are an enhanced version or suggestions to the original idea should all be recorded. Rule number four, allow a free-for-all, meaning that all ideas are good ideas and should be recorded. Even if some of those ideas seem funny and humorous and possibly even off the wall, sometimes those ideas will lead to your most innovative solutions. Remember, sky's the limit. Now that we've finished the brainstorming phase, it's time to research. When you research, you use resources to help you answer your questions. If you're not sure how to build something, find an educational website that gives you directions about the types of builds and what they're used for. You might also find robot reveal videos posted by many different teams to see the ideas that they've come up with. YouTube is a great resource for looking at how other people have built robots, not only for this game, but for past games as well. You're going to go back and forth between the brainstorm and research phase because sometimes you're going to research and it's going to inspire a new idea that you brainstorm. And your brainstorm will then inspire your research. So you're going to go back and forth between brainstorm and research for quite some time before you're ready to move to the next phase, which is called develop ideas. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and good luck with your brainstorms and research.